Uh, poke your nose! Tickle your fingers? So I know nothing about this game, and that makes me happy. I try to play games that I know little to nothing about as much as possible. So, welcome to mouthwashing! I don't know what the heck this is, but let's get it. They said it was atmospheric horror. Is this a space game? I hope this hurts. What do you mean? What the fuck? What do you mean by that? Oh. Zero days before the crash. Okay. A normal body has been detected. 21 AU astral units ahead of the vessel. Please make a manual correction 1.4 degrees leftwards to avoid impact with unknown mass. Steer right. Direct collision course with orbital body 1.9 AU away. Engaging autopilot to advise crew to take emergency positions. 4,000 credits docked from crew. Hit package for failure with navigational lock. Okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I do what? What to do? Open sesame. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we have emergency key. Oh, am I the one that's causing whatever crash this is? Tab. Emergency key. Use emergency key. Sure! Fuck it. Disengage autopilot. Woo! Crash imminent. Alright. Where we... Where we going? What we doing? I like the look of the game. It's pretty... Stylistic. I can't open the door. Oh god. Oh hi, buddy boy! What is that, my friend? What... Exactly are you? Do I hear babies? Bro, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with more babies. I already dealt with enough babies playing Visage. I'm not trying to experience more of that. You know, I feel like shutting these behind me is a good idea. Oh, hello. See, this is this is what I was wanting. A good linear horror experience. I'm all about that atmosphere. I am happy to be here, even though I am a little sick. Please. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, guys. Had a quick hallucination. I was sitting here in my Delulu. Anyone else would do the same thing. We ain't touching that damn cargo. The hold is locked down for a reason. The only thing worth the dying slow is not get paid. But it could be something useful, I think. Could be why Hope's dreams are marzipan. Ha. <laughs> You don't have to. If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Wait, are we Jimmy? Or is he? Wait. Oh, fuck. I forgot the... Oh. My brain is not prepared for multiple voices. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. How exactly is this group of therapy committee planning on getting in there? Oh, right here, boss. You're looking into the meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up merely corked a kid one. I can take the utility axe and... You're a goddamn born fully corked. That, oh wait, am I Jimmy? Am I the Jimmy? Oh my god. <laughs> That's enough, spot. There has to be an in-case emergency way inside. If I remember correctly from the safety protocol. The door should have an alternate access code, but it can only be uncovered using code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. I've completely forgotten Jimmy's voice. God, you would think that my seven years of Dungeon Master experience would actually help me and prepare me for this moment, but uh, it did not. I'm a little too uh, cooked up on. <coughs> excuse me. Sinus medicine. Ooh, excuse me. Of course, go ahead and ask him about it all then. Maybe I'll sing you the blues, too. We don't need a mid We, uh, find the scanner, get the code, open the hole. Better or worse, I'm Captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on. Acquire code scanner. Okie dokie. So, am I Bandage Man? Is that how this goes? Am I Mr. Bandage Man from the beginning of the game? Wished. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm gonna take a baseball bat straight to it. We should leave that part of the out of the press. Out what put part out for them. I can read, I promise. <laughs> Code scanner. Oh no, this is bandage man. Were you who we were playing as at the beginning of game? Can I poke your eyeball? Oh I can play with your mouth. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I poke your nose! Tickle your fingers? He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkiller? It just hurts him so much. I can't stand the noise. He did make it through the nursing to make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. Um, I was thinking. We never went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It's almost entirely foamed up. Kind of a miracle curly it didn't end up fossilized. But it could still be unstable. I just think, well, it's the only place the code scanner could still be. Otherwise, we're shit out of luck. I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. Oh, also, well, um, I was hoping you could help me with Captain. Right, so, sorry, w -w with Curly's medication. People have to be worth their title. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? Yeah, forget I asked. I'll take care of it. Oh, I'm gonna force feed these pills right in his stupid mouth hole real fast. It's, I'm coming down with the black lung pop. It's <coughs> terminal. Any Zoolander fans? Where's the medication? I will put it in his face. These are all we have left. Take painkillers. All right, buddy boy. Open wide for the choo-choo. Use painkillers. Hold still. I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, sorry. What's the problem? What's the problem? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Anya, where did you go? What's the problem? We don't have a whole lot of painkillers left. But he still wants to keep... Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? What answer would make you feel any better? I have to believe that our mo that our worst moments don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to, even in, in his case. He tried to take us all down with him, Anya. The way I see it, there's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. I guess the important bit is that we all agreed to it, for one reason or another. I'm still feeling nauseous. <laughs> I need a minute. I don't know why. That is the voice I have decided for this lady. <coughs> oh, I didn't realize. <coughs> There's got to be so much narration in this game. I might just absolutely toast my voice if this is going to be a few hours of just me constantly talking and narrating. I'm just supposed to be figuring out our great cargo robbery. Why are you standing out here? None of your goddamn business. Everything is my business now because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. Right, right, Capitano. I'm working. Blue collar fools can't afford to stop working even when the machine does. Go figure. And before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry. I ain't going over my break time allowance. <laughs> working on what? How does it look in there? It's a solid wall of foam. I'm trying to see if I can break it down even to get something useful out of any of my tools. But if I breach that foam and break the air seal, it's lights out for all of us. His voice is kind of evolving. I ain't letting you... <laughs> I ain't letting anyone else mess around in there. Even Daisuke. Daisuke. I probably shouldn't pronounce it like that. Uh, even Daisuke. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. When you I don't... Stupid shit cracks me up. Is your intern? He's supposed to be helpful. You think I'm letting that knucklehead in here after the crash roughed it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when the vent hatch was open during maintenance. And that was before the crash. I warned her, but it's in one ear and out the other. Then there's the teeny... What? That teeny bopper thinking only with his downstairs long nose. Oh. Just like my useless kid back home. So no, I ain't letting anyone else around in here. All right, Swansea. Keep me updated. Scanner, open the cargo hold. Man, this place looks terrible. What do you think you got? What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swansea can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swansea? Quit yapping. Okay. 
Time for Spookums. Oh, that's cool. 4517. How neat. How nifto. Time to release the demons upon the ship. Holy balls, how big is this ship? 